So the Henrietta Knight Handicap Chase is next in. This is three miles, three furlongs and 110 yards. It's a grade three. And that top one is changing strings for Ryan Costello. Denevo, Darren Thompson, Geralt, Paul O'Neill. I do, I do, I do, I do. For Grand Clitterbuck, Kazban Mulligan, David Robertson, Knickerbocker Glory, Joshua Sutherland. No more prisoners, Paul Rose. Saddlers for James Shea. Slow burner, Leon Van Rensburg. Yesero, Darren Thompson, Chingford Cross, Hymns, Lady Monarch, Alex Cherry and Robin Fays for Martin Leadham. So... Called in and out again in the rain, then as they make their way towards the first of the fences in this really long race. And they're all safely over the first of the 23 fences with Knickerbocker Glory and Robin Fays disputing the lead as they make their way towards the second of the 23 that they'll take. Virtually three and a half miles this race, isn't it? So, quite a few long distance races again this week. And Robin Fays landed in the lead there over the second. Well, Knickerbocker Glory and Yesero, and then Saddler's four and slow burner. Changing strings is next. The first of the Greys, Garopt, is after that as they take that one in front of the stands. And a big screen. It'll be the final fence in a couple of circuits time. They've got to go around twice yet. And Robin Fays is three lengths to the good and has got to the rail. So Robin Fays in the lead then as they make their way out into the country. And this Henrietta Knight. Handicap chase and I tell the same joke I tell every year. Nobody ever laughs. Maybe one year they will. Henrietta Knight was going to get married to Jasper Garrett at one point, but didn't like the idea of what her name would be. So Robin Fays is the leader. Nickerbocker Glory second. Then Saddlers four and Yesero as they take the next. They're all safely over that one and make their way down towards the water jump, which is the next fence. Robin Fays in the orange jacket is in the lead. The Yesero and Knickerbocker Glory second and third. All safely over the water and I do, I do, I do, I do is screaming I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't at the moment. Doesn't appear to want to be too involved in the race. And he's about four lengths adrift of the others as they take that ditch. They're all safely over it. And he's greys at the back, back three. They're all grey then. Casban Mulligan, Lady Monarch and I do, I do, I do, I do. The other grey Geralt is going much better and I do, I do, I do. Down on his nose again there. And we do seem to escape the curse of the pull-up kit this season, don't we? And this race last year on SO6, we'd have been looking at probably four or five of these getting pulled up at some point. I not noticed it happening at all much this season. As they all get over that one, and I do, I do, I do. He's still struggling at the back and Robin Fays, the surprise leader. Saddler's four and Geralt as they take the next one and Robin Faze went straight through that so did Geralt and finally I do I do I do does scream I don't I don't I don't and he's on the deck and out of the race so one down and Robin Faze is the leader and Saddler's four in the green yes sir on the inside is third as they take that plain one oh, safely over that one a bit of a mistake there by Casban Mulligan and Robin Faze length to Saddler's four and Knickerbocker Glory is third as I skip over that one All over it nicely the leader still Robin Fays it's in downhill there one inside the final two miles now and Robin Fays from Yesero already had a winner today Darren Thompson Geralt on the outside, the grey is third. And Saddler's four. The book of glory after that one. Josh has already had a winner as well. And two seconds. And Lady Monarch. I think jump the next one. All over that one with Lady Monarch a little bit untidy again at the back. They're not past the stand again. That'll be the last next time round. Robin Faze went right through it. And Geralt maybe just in front now. As they swing left handed. A plain one in the water, and Robin Fay's in the lead again by about half a length to Geralt in the second. And Knickerbocker Glory and Chingford crossing Yesero is next. No more prisoners closest to us, he's getting a little bit closer. But Robin Fay's is the leader, then Geralt is second, then Chingford cross three, and Saddler's four is four. Then comes Yesero and Knickerbocker Glory and Denevo, and no more prisoners and Casban Mulligan, and then changing strings, slow burner, and finally Lady Monarch. That plane one, we've lost one there. Casban Mulligan's gone, so they've made a few mistakes. It's finally paid the price. Two out now. 
to this water jump. Nothing will fall like this, you can be pretty sure of that. I know that one, they all go. And the Geralt. Just about a head in front, but the field beginning to bunch. Sadler's four going well on the outside, so too is Knickerbocker Glory. Yes, row tucked in on the rail. It's going to need a little bit of room as they take that ditch. Over that one they go with changing strings now, drop to the back. And Knickerbocker Glory's taking it up. Knickerbocker Glory in the lead. Robin Fraze has still got the rail. Geralt is still there as they take that plain one. And Sadler's four and Yes, row Chingford cross. Then no more prisoners, a slow burner and Denevo. And Lady Monarch, as changing string starts to tail off, but it's Knickerbocker Glory. Couple of lengths to the good. Saddler's four as they take this big ditch, and there's a four there, another one of the good two have gone. Lady Monarch and Slow Burner have both gone at that one. So four out now, and Knickerbocker Glory and Saddler's four dispute the lead. Robin Fay's between them as they take that one. They've only got about another four to go. And Knickerbocker Glory races downhill. Begins to swing left-handed. Robin Fay's been driven along in second. And Chingford Cross and Yesero. He's a really tightly grouped as they take the 20th. And a mistake at the back by Denevo. As Geralt just about hits the front. Here comes no more prisoners on the outside. Knickerbocker Glory is still there on the inside. Robin Fay's is now beating a retreat. Yesero and Chingford Cross trying to challenge. Sadler's Ford's also lost his place a little bit. Denevo's trying to run on over the third last they go. And Geralt landed in the lead. Geralt landed in front. Of Knickerbocker Glory in second, no more prisoners in third. Yes, row four, Saddlers four, five. Then Chingford Cross and Robin Faze and Denevo as they race up towards the final couple of fences. Then in this Henrietta Knight chase, and Knickerbocker Glory has just got back into the lead again by about half a length. Now he's going for a full length clear of Geralt in second. Saddlers four running on again. Then Chingford Cross, no more prisoners. Yes, rows after that one with stable mate Denevo as they get over the second last and it's Knickerbocker Glory who's now two clear from Geralt in second Sadler's four and Chingford Cross are trying to close one more fence to take over it goes Knickerbocker Glory mistake by Geralt good jump by Sadler's four and Chingford Cross but it's Knickerbocker Glory into the final furlough looks to have enough under his belt he's going to take this one I think Knickerbocker Glory is racing into the final half furlong Sadler's four is not going to get close enough and it's going to be another one for Joshua Sutherland as Knickerbocker Glory takes the Henrietta Knight chase Sadler's four is second, Chingford Cross third, Geralt four, then Yesero, no more prisoners, Denevo and Robin Fays changing strings, was tailed off but got round, four didn't, and pretty dramatic race, and another one in the book for Josh, who must be catching Leon now. Take a look. Knickerbocker Glory for Joshua Sutherland, the winner. Sadler's four for James Shea, second. Chingford Cross for Hems, third. Geralt for Paul O'Neill was fourth. And Yesero for Darren Thompson was fifth.